Welcome. If you could all remain st standing for the national anthem, and if anybody in the audience has a cap on, please kindly remove your headwear. Graduates, you may leave your caps on. Thank you. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets. Thank you, you may now be seated. Welcome to the graduation for the class of 2019. I am Ethan Domenico. Wow, guys, let me be the first one to tell you, you made it. You made it through high school. You made it through 12 years of school. You did it. You're here sitting in front of your families, showing them that you made it. Hey, you made them pretty proud. You proved to everyone that you could make it. Here, sitting in front of me, is a group of kids who worked and pushed through countless hours of school to be here today. But who are the kids that truly sit in front of you today? The class of 2019 is full of diverse students. We have in our class extremely talented musicians who created sounds that could only be described as heavenly. We have art students that with a flick of their wrist or a snap of their camera, created masterpieces even Picasso himself would be jealous of. Actors and actresses that showed us what raw talent truly looks like. The class of 2019 has athletes who put in countless hours of hard work and were determined to be the best of the best. We have student government kids who, with the snap of their fingers, created events and traditions that only brought joy and happiness to our school. We have DECA kids who never took a day off and strive not to only make our school better, but the world around us, going all the way to internationals. Club members who shocked us at the time and dedication invested in their favorite hobbies and life-changing activities. Bowman students that got head starts on future career paths that help people in the community one way or the other. Extremely intelligent students that strived only for greatness and achieved it along with so much more. And probably what is the most admirable about this class is how well we treated our younger classmen, mentored and teach them so that our legacy will always live on. Some of you know, and for the, those that don't, this year's senior prank was a little bit different than past years. A group of us showed up at school at 5.30 in the morning on the last Friday of our high school career and did something that I think none of us were expecting to do that day. We celebrated our time here together. We parked our cars in a big circle right at front of the student lot. There we got out some games and had probably the best time we have ever had on school grounds during our four years on the mountain. But you're probably wondering, why is he talking about a senior prank in front of all these teachers and parents? I'm telling you because of what it represented. This act involved our entire class to come together one final time. All of us had a role some way or another in that circle. We came together as a whole class 
to do something fun and safe that accur accurately represented who we were. Our differences didn't matter in that circle, and it was something that tied us all together. We created something that we, who we were as a class, fun and inclusive. I would also like to point out that Mr. Sawin helped us in that circle and made sure that our cornhole was the proper 24 feet. But in the end, our class has been there for it all. From Footloose to football games, we showed our colors. We proved ourselves worthy of the title Stain Gang. We showed up on Spirit Days. We led chants and kept the energy flowing through our school. All of that time and effort we invested into school has come to this bittersweet moment. Sweet because we are finally ready to move on to the next chapter of our lives where we make the rules now. Bitter because this is the last time we will all be in the same room together. We spent four years of our time and we didn't just make friends, we found our families. In this crazy journey we called high school, we found lifelong friends. We found people to laugh with, found people to love with, and we found people to cry with. The last four years have taught us that families aren't just the ones you were born with, but the people you find in the most unlikely of places. Now it's been my great honor to be your student body president. Before I stand down and hand off the mic, I ask this from all of you. Please be respectful during all of the speaker's speeches. Being loud, and being loud and disruptive during a speech will ruin the nostalgia of the moment, and I think this class knows the understanding of a good moment better than most. Please, let's show how amazing our class is by showing some respect. And remember, it's not goodbye. Rather, see you next time. Thank you. And now I'd like to introduce our principal, Ms. Julie Inger. Thank you, Ethan. Before I go any further, I want to celebrate our national anthem singers, Emma Kammer, Ansley Smith, and Janelle Flores. Beautiful job, ladies. As principal of Mountain Range High School, it is my honor and privilege to introduce the platform guests that join us this evening. I will ask that the guests please rise when I announce their name and remain standing until all guests have been introduced. Will the audience please hold their applause until all guests have been announced? I will begin with the graduates who joined me on stage. Jacob Millar and Coulter Shelby, class of 2019, co-valedictorians. Logan Yeager, class of 2019, salutatorian. Josephine Griesinger, class of 2019, student speaker. Madeline Waddell, 2019, senior class president. Ethan Domenico, 2019, student body president. Joining us in celebration this evening is Kathy Plomer, Board of Education President, Laura Mitchell, Board of Education Vice President, Norm Jennings, Board of Education Secretary, Jamie Lockley, Board of Education Director, Brian Batts, Board of Education Director, Chris Kadowski, Superintendent of Schools, Priscilla Strong, Chief Academic Officer, Lee Peters, Executive Director of High Schools, Stacy Johnson, Faculty Speaker, Tracy Ranta and Kyle Anderson, Faculty Heralds. I would like to thank everyone mentioned for their support and encouragement of Mountain Range High School and its students. Please give a round of applause and recognition of the guests I've introduced. Platform guests may be seated. I'd like to draw your attention to the arena floor and ask that all Mountain Range High School faculty please rise. Audience, before you stands true champions of today's graduates. Teachers, thank you for never giving up on these students sitting next to you and for working tirelessly to ensure that they became the mature, respectful, honest, and safe citizens of the future. Thank you. Class of 2019, every now and then you come across someone who just makes you feel good, makes you want to be better. They have that positive attitude and a genuine kindness that makes your day a little brighter whenever they say hi. Well, the class of 2019, you are a group 
of these special people. A recent example of this is when I was working with Jacob and Coulter regarding making the final determination of who would be valedictorian. We were interpreting the guidelines and whether or not a restriction applied. One of them said, if that means I'm not valedictorian, that's okay. The other said, but he worked just as hard as I did, and why can't we do it together? We both deserve it. My administrative team would joke that my heart grew two sizes that day. <laughs> JT and Colt would later come back to me with the phrase, compassion over competition. That message is powerful, and it's not a message that everyone deserves a blue ribbon. It's not a message that we should all get the same thing. What rings the loudest in the phrase is compassion, that you will strive to do your best, but you will do so with care for those around you. When I think back through your four years at Mountain Range, I am troubled by the weight of what you all have experienced. But then I wonder if it helped develop you into the kind group that you are. Your freshman year started out with big celebrations. I mean, in the fall of 2015, our softball team wins the 5A state championship. To be a part of a school winning a state championship is a special thing. Then a few months later, the Broncos win Super Bowl 50 and all of Colorado was elated. Any of you Raider friends out there, just be quiet. <laughs> I mean, with that start, one wouldn't be surprised if com competition was your focus. But very quickly, life dealt us a blow that made our focus be about care for others. During your sophomore year, our science teacher, Mrs. Martinez, was involved in a home explosion. During your junior year, schools nationwide experienced student walkouts in response to school violence. And then the afternoon prior to your senior last day, Colorado experienced another school shooting. In the face of these tragedies, you all united and asked, what can we do? For some, that meant action or choices about your future goals. But for the collective class of 2019, you all joined in a mission to be kind to others. I am proud of the people you have become, that you developed great resiliency without losing your heart. You make me hopeful. Now, let's get this ceremony moving. I think I hear a stampede coming. Jacoby, come on up. Thank you. And now it is my pleasure to introduce your co-valedictorians, Jacob Millar and Coulter Shelby. Four years ago, we found ourselves standing at the base of a tall and intimidating mountain. A group of several hundred 14-year-olds, clearly full of raging hormones, what would not have to look very closely to see just how much growth we had left to undergo. And whether we stood surrounded by old friends or completely alone, the task ahead would not be easy. We had four years of hard climbing ahead of us, four years of meeting new people and reaching new heights. High school was, to put in the insightful words of Coach Heavy, tough. Each day brought new challenges, from struggling to grasp a new concept in chemistry to starting in that first varsity game, to figuring out how to ask that girl the prom, High school forced us to learn and adapt as we allowed more and more freedoms. We learned to explore the different paths set before us, to persevere through the cruxes of the ascent, and to recite the names of every Chinese dynasty, thanks to Mr. Smith forcing each of us to solo to the tune of Frere Jaca in front of the entire class. 
On these slopes, we've been subject to thousands of hours of instruction under many different passionate teachers and mentors. And in that time, we've encountered everything from Shakespeare to Stravinsky, calculus to criminal justice, advertising to American history. We've become adept at speaking new foreign languages and playing new instruments. And through all the homework and studying we have or haven't done, we have found a new appreciation for what it means to be successful. Vince Lombardi, legendary Green Bay Packers coach, once said, people who work together will win, whether it will be against complex football defenses or the problems of modern society. Now this quotation might come as a surprise to many of you, as this is from the same man who said, winning isn't everything, it's the only thing. That a man who is so fiercely competitive and driven, a man who etched his name onto one of the most valuable trophies in sports by defeating other teams, held cooperation and collaboration to such high esteem is beautiful. Much of our time here at the Mountain has been spent competing alongside and against each other. And really, to an outside observer, competition may seem to be the point and goal of many of our experiences in high school. The point of grades may seem to be getting the highest marks, the point of marching bands, sports, or robotics to beat the competition. But we know that we never went to games just to watch our team win or to deck a nationals with the sole goal of becoming the best in the nation. And while competition provided us with motivation and fun, we know that it wasn't the reason we kept coming back for more. Often, we become so focused on getting to the head of the pack that we forget that the climb goes faster when we work together. Granted, life is much more complicated than a test or a sporting event, or even a climb up a mountain. But the friends we've made, the teachers we've connected with, and the coaches we've had have all helped us to reach our peaks and to aim even higher. Today, we can finally say that we have summited this mountain. After four years of struggle and strife, laughter and tears, this is our day. But looking back on our high school experience, what we'll remember are the everyday experiences that made these long years bearable. The hundreds of lunch hours spent with incredibly close friends, performances on stage ending in thunderous applause, perfectly coordinating our outfits with our best friends for school, sp school spirit weeks, asking Mr. Randall a question in chemistry and then immediately regretting it as we left with four more, being chased down the entire length of the hallway by Smith for forgetting to wear our IDs, outrageous talent show performances and boy powder, boys powder puff dances, and of course, we could never forget the countless times we almost got run over during impromptu student parking lot drag races. Even if the scoreboard wasn't always so favorable, you could look out at the crowd and see groups of friends taking part in the camaraderie and excitement of the Friday Night Lights or enjoying the fierce rivalry games on the court. You could look out and see intense competition within our athletes, friend groups merging and sharing laughs while kids broke the social norms of looking cool in favor of supporting our teams, or as we all watched Mr. Salling take a spill across the track as he chased a streaker across the football field. You could watch, look out as proud parents and family members cheered on their students who represent not just Mount Range, but our community with pride. Regardless of the trophies in our hands or the letters or numbers on our report cards, the parts of high school that will resonate the strongest in our memories will be the ones that we spent together. The ones that we spent building each other up rather than beating each other down. High school gave each one of us the chance to discover who we are. Each day, we saw friends who encouraged us and allowed us the opportunity to relate to new experiences. We laughed, worked, fought, made up, and came out stronger because of it. The careful balance between competition and love for friends is what pushed us to continue the journey, to take those few steps off the trail and into the beautiful wilderness, ready for adventure. As I'm sure all of you have heard over the past few weeks, as well as will hear in the coming days, congratulations have been in no short supply among high school graduates. Every day, family members, friends, and acquaintances have taken the time to congratulate us on making it to our next big milestone. But let us not forget that this is not the end of our journey, only the first of many mountains we have left to summit. For the past four years, we have more or less been climbing together as a class, but today it is finally time for us to take our separate ways. Around us stand hundreds of students who have proven that they are prepared to take on the world ahead. Hundreds of seniors who have spent over 5,000 hours in class improving and refining their intellectual crafts. Hundreds of seniors who will take their talents and potential from Washington State to Washington, D.C. After today, our class will never again be in the same building together because now we're on to bigger and better things. Some of us will continue to follow paths planned many months or many years in advance. Paths towards college, towards the military, towards getting our teacher's licenses or trade certifications. Paths towards the workforce, towards traveling the world, 
or even dis discovering something new entirely. And if we're being honest with ourselves, we're completely clueless as to what happens next. For the past four years, Mountain Range has planned out each and every one of our days like some kind of sadistic travel agent, but class of 2019, now it's time for us to write our own itineraries. In the end, we'll get where we're going. Through even deeper valleys and to even higher peaks. But as long as the paths that we take are our own, there's really no right or wrong way to go. Some may lead us to unexpected turns or surprising setbacks, but there will always be a way ahead. So find that path for yourself and don't look back. Thank you. I'm going to introduce Logan. Yeah, yeah. And now we would li now like to introduce our class of 2019 salutatorian, Logan Yeager. Hi, my name is Logan Yeager. As your salutatorian, it is my honor to announce this year's scholarship recipients. When I announce your name, please stand and remain standing. Audience, I know we're all very proud of these students, but please hold your applause until I finish announcing the scholarship recipients so everyone's names can be heard. Samuel Adams, Marguerite Adewan, Michaela Alvarez, Slater and Dulcic, Tanner Arthur, Daniel Avila, Abulesh Ayanar, Jason Baca, Kobe Baker, Shelby Banks, Yaya Batika, Anna Ann Blassingame, Brianna Bolton, Allison Brick, Juliana Brienza, Emma Kammer, Alyssa Caputa, Nicholas Ciatola, Rachel Caldwell, Samantha Conti, Matthew Cusick, Parker Davis, Natalie Diaz Ortega, Nathan Dooley, Martha Esparza Garcia, Brian Fernandez Montenegro, Allison Flores, Janelle Gabrielle Flores, Anna Gagliano, Ashla Ashley Glorioso, Josephine Griesinger, Jaylees Guerrero, Demelin Haynes, Madeline Haynes, Keegan Harford, Malin Houseworth, Litsa Hibolito Rubio, Logan Hitzman, Brooke Hudson, Connor Jones, Jonathan Kelly, Jacob Konarski, Heather Laird, Lanisha Laws, Stephanie Laws, McKenna Lees, Owen Luscombe, Ashley Marquez, Holland McGuire, Cameron McNair, Jacob Millar, Jordan Newman, Kathy Nguyen, Diana Nguyen, Madison Ortiz, Nikita Overberg, Jaden Patton, Krista Potter, Taylor Potter, Brianna Reed, Maggie Richardson, Jennifer Richter, Allison Rosales, Coulter Shelby, Nathan Taylor, Julia Tennant, Krista Tamavong, Talia Trujillo, Ilian Varela, Silvio Wagner, Tiffany Wilson, myself, and Emily Younger. Please give a round of applause to the class of 2019. These amazing students have raised over $4.2 million in scholarship. Congratulations, you may be seated. At this time, it is my privilege to introduce our senior class president, Madeline Waddell. The class of 2019 is proud to present our senior gift, a sign located on the east wall of the Mountain Range Building, designed by Ian Simpson and myself, reading Welcome to the Mountain. It is a sign that welcomes both students and visitors to our school. The sign depicts a sense of unity, that we are together as a class and a student body on a mountain, climbing to achieve more and more success. I would also like to thank Ms. Ranta and Mr. Anderson uh, for all their help with the senior class.
Well done, choir. I love that song. I feel like it gives me permission to accept me for me. I'm weird. I know this is true because my daughter tells me so, often. I'm the teacher who sings the quadratic formula, says things in class like easy peasy. Thank you. I give brain breaks where I have students get up and move, sometimes dancing to songs from Go Noodle, like Dino Stomp and Banana Banana Meatball. I tell silly math jokes that most don't think are all that great. For example, why was six afraid of seven? Because seven ate nine. Now, why did seven eat nine? He was told to eat three squared meals. I make no apologies. This is me. I am honored to have been chosen by the class of 2019 to be the faculty speaker. I'm also terrified. I believe that my job today as your speaker is to share some words of wisdom, ideas on how to be successful, or give you some kind of life advice. 
I don't know that I have any pearls of wisdom for you. I think maybe you picked the wrong person for this job. I'm a math teacher. I don't write speeches. My identity is that I help students solve problems. And we all know if you've got math, you've got problems. Your identity is made up of the way you think about yourself and the characteristics that define you. Your identity is a thing that makes you unique. My identity is that I am a math teacher, not a speech writer. But I also understand that finding your identity is not an easy task. Part of this reason is because you are always changing, learning from new life experiences, making choices. So here I am, learning, changing. I've spent many hours trying to piece together all the ideas I think might make for some decent advice and ended up with a hot mess of cliches, song lyrics, my own ideas and quotes from famous people. Four pages of a hot mess. When I got to the end of those four pages, I realized that I had nothing. I said to myself, this is hard. I can't do this. I don't even know where to start. I feel like we have all said those things before, and yep, that was me when it came time to write this speech. At one point, I realized my students would say the same things, especially when writing identity proofs. When I hear my students say, I can't do this, I always tell them to stop thinking that way. You will never get anywhere with that defeatist attitude. You will never get anywhere if you don't try something. In order to make progress, you first make, need to make a change. Wait a sec, that sounds like that might be decent advice. We're gonna start there. In order to make progress, you must first make a change. This is actually true on many levels. First, I needed to change my mindset from I can't do this to I can do this. Then I needed to start putting words on the paper. It doesn't have to be great on the first shot, but if I'm gonna get anywhere, I need to start somewhere. In math class, this piece of advice is quite literally means that you need to change the expression. Whether that means you turn a tangent into a sine over cosine, you factor, or you multiply to get a common denominator, making some kind of change is only the first step, but without it, you'll go nowhere. Another thing I find that I tell my students is not to be afraid to try something and later find out that it doesn't work. Be brave, make the mistake, and learn from it. Usually there are some good things going on in that first attempt. And if it turns out to be wrong, at the very least you will find one way that doesn't work. This reminds me of a popular Thomas Edison quote. I haven't failed, I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Failure is an opportunity to learn. Did you know that this idea is part of our mountain range vision statement? Our vision statement reads, the mountain range community strives for excellence by encouraging intellectual risks and honoring all experiences so that both successes and failures lead to greater achievement. As your teachers, we want you to take risks and find success, but when you're not successful, learn from that. Take that failure and turn it into an opportunity to grow. It's okay to try something and decide later that it doesn't work. Learn from that and then try something new. The definition of insanity is to continue to do the same thing and expect different results. So if you want a different result, try doing something differently. The last bit of advice I give my students, especially to those working on trigonometric identities, is that when you have to decide what to do next, you do not have to make the same choice as the others around you. There are many ways to solve a problem, and just because the path you choose is different from someone else's doesn't mean you're wrong. Sometimes you make a choice and try something, and it leads you directly to what you want or what you need. Other times, your choice takes you down a path that is unclear. There are times when the path taken gets uglier before it gets better, and that's okay. This doesn't mean you are wrong or that it can't be solved. It just requires a little more work. Your path doesn't need to be the same as my path or the same as the path of the person sitting next to you. Make your choice and know that if the path is different, it doesn't mean it's wrong. Graduates, you have made it here today. You've succeeded. I'm sure there were times when it wasn't easy peasy.
times where you might have struggled, made mistakes, or even failed, but learned from those experiences. You might not have followed the same path as the person sitting next to you, but here you all are celebrating success. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Congratulations, class of 2019. Good evening, staff, family, friends, alumni, and graduates. My name is Josephine, and along with all the graduates you see in front of you today, I'm ending my high school career here on this stage with all of you. I can honestly say that high school was no musical, but it was something that changed me. It shaped me into the young woman I am today, and it shaped all of us into the people that are sitting here today. We survived throughout everything high school put us through, and here we are. We experienced that first day of class with all the big, bad, scary seniors, and we survived. We experienced that first real relationship, and maybe the second, or maybe even a third. And probably through all that, there was the first heartbreak. And while it did hurt, we survived. We experienced getting our permits and our licenses. And maybe after a few accidents and bumps along the way, we are surviving. We experienced that first football game and that first dance and that first pep rally and all the firsts that come with high school. And here sitting in the chairs in front of me are the ones that through all the highs and lows, the bumps and the bruises, through all the tears and the laughs are the ones who survived. All of the surviving has led us up onto this point. Here on this stage, we are no longer just surviving. We are thriving and achieving so much more than we ever imagined. Surviving high school alone is a big accomplishment. Our class was 548 students to start, and here, sitting today, are the 415 that survived high school. We started from the bottom and with a few losses along the way. We're, the whole team is here. These students and myself are leaving here today a part of something bigger than one individual. We are leaving here today as part of a community. Throughout high school, we have accomplished so many things, and these accomplishments have led us to this stage as this community. Throughout the numerous football games we lost, the players kept a positive attitude that it would get better, and it did. The games I witnessed and the attitudes I witnessed really showcased these boys' motivation and dedication. And today, we have players leaving this program to play for colleges, including those of Washburn University, South Dakota School of Mines and Technology, and many more. The graduating class of baseball boys is a big reason that the program has been so successful. The baseball team has players going to play for Scottsdale Community College and many others. The cross country team continued to reach new heights throughout all four years of our high school experience, spreading the love of running to many of those sitting here in front of me today. From the track team, there are runners going on to continue running at the universities, including William Penn and UNC. The unified players and peer tutors who help those kids feel special, appreciated, heard, and seen are some of the best people I've had the privilege of knowing. Our graduating softball players were on the state championship team and have continued to reach new heights in the sport. Our softball team is sending a player off to play at Trinidad State. Our girls and boys golf teams have made a big impact in the sport and are sending players to DU, Regis, and a few others. Our robotics team has done extremely well in all of their competitions. Our graduating DECA members have been a huge part of the program in regards to keeping it a respected and honorable program, not to mention they are some of the smartest and best competitors at DECA in the state. Our National Honor Society puts on a day without hate, every year decorating the ceiling with 2,000 white paper doves. This day tries to provide a sense of accomplishment and acceptance and love for one another and our graduating NHS members have made a big contribution to making that happen. Our student government has achieved National Gold Council of Excellence six years in a row with the help of some of the seniors sitting here today. They have managed to pull off all the school dances of our high school careers. They have helped raise over $2,000 for the Cancer Society and so much more. Our band has been very successful in their endeavors and have competed at the state competition for all four years and have done very well for four years. Our choir students have come to expand their knowledge of music and have students going on to art schools to pursue their love of singing. 
Our class is full of successful athletes, writers, artists, medics, nurses, speakers, and so many more that will go on to do amazing things. These smaller communities are what make up this big community that we have found within this school of 2,000 students. We have found smaller communities that made high school life bearable. Through sports or clubs or organizations or just eating lunch together, we have found our community. As the graduating class of 2019, the accomplishments we have achieved will amount to so much more than anything we could have imagined. It is all of these accomplishments and tribulations that have created this community that I am proud to be a part of. As we move on to the next chapter in our lives, whether that be college, trade school, the armed services, or just jumping right into the adult world, there is something I want you to keep with you, and it's this sense of community. This bond we have created through all these accomplishments that we have achieved with the people we consider to be our lifelong friends. While you experience what the world has to offer you, you should make it your mission to find your community. We will always have this community, but now you have the chance to find the people you can relate to, the people you can lean on, the people you can laugh with, the people who will make your life better. This community we have built will stay with us even if we don't stay in touch, because your community isn't about who you're friends with or who you talk to. It's about this feeling and this sense of accomplishment bigger than one person that you've created through shared experiences. My strongest community is my parents, and I would like to take a sec second to thank them for everything they did for me, especially my mom, who is my best friend and my fiercest advocate. We are leaving here today, not as high school seniors, but as adults. And as these new adults, I hope you go on to accomplish even more than what you have accomplished here. And I hope you follow your passions and find that community that supports you and encourages your passions. As Elgin Jodoros put it, Follow your passions, stay true to yourself, never follow someone else's path. Unless you're in the woods and you're lost and you see a path, then by all means you should follow that. Stay true to the person you have become. Congratulations, graduating class of 2019. Seniors, please rise. <laughs> Mr. Godowski, as principal of Mountain Range High School, I am proud to present the graduating class of 2019. Thank you, Ms. Inger. Graduates, let's conserve some energy. Please be seated. So the presentation of the graduating class from principal to superintendent and then onto the Board of Education has a long history founded on the most basic of math skills. The journey to graduation culminates with our counselors confirming that you've completed at least 23 credits spread across a variety of disciplines and electives. In a couple of years, in response to state legislation, we'll add some additional quantitative requirements, largely in the form of test scores, as a condition for graduation. The changes we've made in public education over the years to increase the depth, breadth, and quality of your education are all well-intended steps to better prepare you for productive life. In the end, though, it's the qualities that we cannot measure the values and beliefs held deep in your heart and soul that are most on my mind as I prepare to present your class to the Board of Education. The recent shooting at the STEM School in Highlands Ranch, along with those that occur frequently at places of worship, places of employment, institutions of learning, shopping malls, and entertainment venues throughout our nation, remind us that quantitative measurements alone fall well short in measuring and identifying the characteristics we desire in you as you leave us as graduates and enter our community as young adults. It's certainly important that you are able to speak and write clearly, have solid math skills, understand scientific principles, have learned about history and structures of government, and appreciate the importance of the arts, health, and exercise in a well-balanced life. I submit that it is more important, however, that you leave us with hearts and minds committed to respecting all others who share this life with you 
and a breaking loose from the destructive shackles of hate that permeate so much of our society. We found an endless number of ways to hate one another. Some choose to hate based upon race or color. Others choose to hate based upon sexual orientation, religious beliefs, economic status, political affiliations, and a long list of other characteristics and values. Social media channels make it easier and more convenient than ever to spread the hate through pinpointed and group messages alike. As a result, we've become all too familiar with situations in which those who spew the hate or have been the recipients of it take violent actions as their most amplified means of expressing hate or responding to it. I am grateful to those of you present today who have taken steps to change the way we interact with one another, whether it's through active participation in Day Without Hate activities at school or through developing a relationship of respect and kindness with those much different than you. I am proud of those of you present today who have, through experiences at school, with family, or by participation in community or faith institutions, internalized the values of genuine respect, care, and concern for all others, notwithstanding their differences. And for those of you who find yourself too often consumed with hate or comfortably familiar with it, my hope is you'll make this area of growth and development your top priority. Your quality of life and the quality of life for us all depends on it. And so, given Ms. Singer's certification that you have met or exceeded the district's academic requirements for graduation, and with hopes that each of you will take forward with you a commitment to values of respect and kindness for all, it is my privilege to accept this class of 2019 and present you to the Board of Education for recognition. Congratulations, Mustangs. And it's my privilege, on behalf of the Board of Education, to accept these seniors from Mountain Range High School and confirm them as District 12 graduates. Before we move on to distributing the diplomas, um, it is a tradition in Adams 12 to recognize those students who have decided to serve our country in the military. So if you are joining the Please stand when, if you're joining the Air Force, Navy, Army, Marines, or Coast Guard. Thank you for volunteering to serve our country. You may be seated. And at this time, graduates in the first two rows, please rise. Jonathan Charles Kelly. Ansley Rose Smith. Janelle Gabrielle Guerrero Flores. Malin Janelle Houseworth.
Emma Dupree, Dupree Kammer. Brianna Catherine Reed. Naomi Renee Garber. Marguerite Adwan. Callie Briley Bredo. Zoe Shabon Topin. Tanner Douglas Arthur. Vera Ann Duong. Michael Albert Daly. Zachary Benyoman Weiss. <laughs> Lola Niles De Russell. Abby Lesh Ayanar. Taylor Storm Potter. Malena Ray Tomko. What the? Mackenzie Lynn Bean. Keegan Ryan Harford. Joshua James Mirlap. Fred Michael Apodaca III. Adam Ton Bowie. Rachel Lee Caldwell. Caitlin Irene Lloyd. No. No. Kathy Noop Nguyen. Antonia Fatima Ramirez Chavez. Samuel Parker Adams. Christian Andreki. Montana Nicole Alley. Gabriel, Gabriel Omar Dwight. Dominic Filgueres Almonte. <laughs> Isaac Julian Davalos. Michaela Elise Alvarez. David Muhammad Hidari. Kelsey Lynn Amen. Samantha Marie Stanley. Hannah Marie Anderson. Sere Bueno. Jose Enrique Andino Disqua. Landon Alexander MacArthur. Slater Lee Andolosik. Avery Drew McCasco. Rachel Nicole Archuleta. Ashley Madsen. Kay Tyler Arnold. Ryan Joseph Megley. Alexander Thomas Artis. Lorenzo Lewis Mestas. Jenna Rose Atkinson. Jose Magdaleno. Daniel Avila. Shelby Nicole Marks. Haley Mariah Ayala Gonzalez. Ashley Reyna Marquez. Jason Sawanik Baca. Cameron Shea Martinez. Ryan Alexander Bailey. Jocelyn Savannah Martinez. Zoe Ann Bailey. Alicia Celeste Mayo. Kobe Michael Baker. Elena Stephanie McCarter. Adam Michael Seth Ball. Jacob Ryan McCaslin. Shelby Lauren Banks. Caleb Richard McClure. Jacob Lance Vargas. Aubrey Marcelina McGinty. Joseph Ashton Bates. Holland Noel McGuire. Yaya Ahmad Butika. Cameron Ruth McWhorter McNair. Naomi Rose Bauer. Andrew Sule Melendez. Jacob Austin Bell. Cesar Raul Mendez Pascual. Julia Grace Benedict. Isao Mraz Martinez. 
Alexandra Faith Bennett. Isayal Mraz Montanez. Joe Robert Bernal III. Alyssa Rose Messerly. Matisse Titua Besson. Shade Miko Mich Mitchell. Mariana Betance Baron. David Montez Gonzalez. Federico Cedric Bieber. Jacob Gabriel Montoya. Ashley Rose Biggs. Good job, Ashley. Alora Isabella Moreno. Isaac Simeon Burley Martinez. Julian Jose Moreira Rivera. McKenna Diane Black. Zoe Alexis Jua Mua. Mindy Blass. Kayla Rose Mirabrook. Anne Adele Blassingame. Justin Clark Meyer. Aiden Happy Bobby. Alexis Marie Nash. Kevin Patrick Bullyjack. Dallas Birdsong Neal. Brianna Lynn Bolton. Jacob Henry Netterbrot. Darian Andrew Borden. Brady J. Nelson. Grace Lynn Boak. Sierra Rose Navarez. Nathan Robert Bowman. Jordan Eric Newman. Samuel Robert Boyer. Diana Trang Nguyen. Cole Joseph Brangosio. Emmeline Nee Nguyen. Allison Maybrick. Jada Sarah Marie Noble. Juliana Lucille Brienza. Aya Catherine Norton. Jared Alexander Brigode. Brianna Maria Nuanez. Matthew Roy Brocklander. Gabriela Felice Nunez. Chandler Rose Brown. Luke Armand O'Brien. Faith Marie Bruton. Julie Beth Naley Ochoa. Alec Arthur Budig. Alyssa K. Olson. Victoria Jacqueline Buenrostro. Demarcus Corte Ortega. James Christian Bird. Christelle Ongole Ortiz. Parker Ray Cahill. Madison Marie Ortiz. Caputa. Alyssa Jean Caputa. Nikita Christina Overberg. Carranco. Katie Elizabeth Carranco. Adrian Balarmino Padilla. Victoria Lynn Carter. Andre Lee Padilla. Jess Ernesto James Casaus. Gabriela oh. Pedos. Zaley Ibeth Casillas Ramirez. Anthony Darren Polizzi. Aliana Ray Castillo. Tatum Rachel Pendleton. Casey Nicole Chavez. Isabel Grace Fister. Gabriela Jean Chavez. Justin Carter Phillips. Nicholas Daniel Ciatola. Pearl Esmeralda Pineda. Nicholas Andre Cipitelli. Ashley Marie Plumley. Jackson Thomas Coghill. Trevor Jean Polstoffer. Samantha Paige Conti. Krista Celine Potter. Isaiah James Cordova. Jamie Lett Prieto Rivas. Jordan Kathleen Cossie. 
Sterling Alexander Proctor. Logan Joseph Ray Corsi. Asim Puri. Braden Errol Quarter. Brendan Noah Quintero. Matthew Joe Cusick. Abigail Elizabeth Ramirez. Katarina Dalpiaz. Adam James Ramirez. Don Dang. Maria Fernanda Ramirez Ledesma. Juliana Darnell. Trevor James Ratledge. Parker Robert Davis. Sean Fabian Riley. Tia D'Angelo. Hunter Duffy Rensick. Antonio D'Angelo DeCessory. Eileen Reyes. Sophia Elise DeFonzo. Maggie Rose Richardson. Hannah Michelle DiMattia. Jennifer Lynn Richter. Zane Andrew Dennis. Chase Keelan Ritima. Elizabeth Grace DeWald. Colton Robert James Ritter. Natalie Diaz Ortega. Davion Monet Rivera. Colt Action Di Giovanni. Kenya Lee Rivera. Jack Lawrence Dietrich. Emily Ray Robinson. Angelo Nunzio Domenico. Cindy Eileen Rodriguez. Nathan Scott Dooley. Oscar Daniel Rodriguez Ornelas. Madison Ali Drennan. Heath Walker Rollman. Cheyenne Isabella Dujardin. Brandon Thomas Rojas. Elizabeth Vaughn Dunlap. Brandon Michael Romero. Ashlyn Nicole Dernan. Elise Lynn Ronquillo. Jennifer Kaylin Dyer. Allison Samantha Rosales. Brendan Gregory Ellisor. Caitlin Victoria Rozier. Evan Andrew Engel. Seth A. Roth. Jace Evan Erickson. Taylor Marie Rush. Martha Linda Esparza Garcia. Xavier Isaiah Ruiz Castro. Charlize Kaylani Everhart. Daniel Joseph Rutledge. Shane Richard Fanning. Isaiah Joseph Rubal. Brian Fernandez Montenegro. Jennifer Savas. Allison Marie Flores. <laughs> Kevin Ignacio Sainz Luevano. Mackenzie Nevan Foley. Lorenzo Dre Silas. Michael Francis Foley. Sade Angelina Salazar. Anna Marie Gagliano. Logan Matthew Samuelson. Marcus Omar Galindo. Arabella Jane Carolina Meadow Sanchez. Victor Anthony Galindo. Alexander William Savage. Sebastian Alberto Gomaro Paz. Dylan J. Sayavong. Corinne Elizabeth Garcia. Savannah Lynn Shares. Devin James Garcia. Alan Leroy Schmidt. Esteban Nathaniel Garcia. Caleb Matthew Schmidt. Marissa Lorraine Garcia. Andrew Riley Schneider. Tegan Robert Garcia. Jordan Ray Schutz. Krista Lynn Gardino. Riley K. Schultze. 
Zane Allison Garrison. Adam Vincent Sells. Sierra Hope Gashler. Caden Earl Shepherd. Ian Williams Gaskins. Athena Bell Short. Alina Marie Gavigan. Devanshi Shreshta. Aaron Mitchell Game. Cassidy Ann Shunk. Maya Elizabeth Jellermino. Ezekiel Val Sig. Derek Allen Gerhardt. Dylan John Scala. Joshua Grad Gurink. Vanessa Christine Soderberg. Ashley Nicole Glorioso. Enrique Solis. Autumn Breeze Goff. Lily Don Solomon. Jayla Nicole Gonzalez. Richard Darren Summer. Ricardo Lawrence Gonzalez III. Lucy Margaret Steed. Brenor Arianes Gonzalez. Casey Jane Steven. Wesley James Gould. Vladimir Andrevik Stolbenikov. Cameron Marie Greenfield. Kenneth Susanto. Jaylise Alyssa Guerrero. Anaya Jade Talbert. Rachel Renee Hagman. Ryan Matthew Talk. Madeline Ann Haynes. Julia Yvonne Tennant. Demi Lynn Ian Haynes. Krista Tomavong. Esri Alexandria Hale. Emily Grace Tiemann. Sean J.C. Haney. Diego Everardo Torres. Jacob Marvin Hansen. Patrick Tran. Brianna Joe Harris. Riley McKenna Tremel. Samuel James Herbert. Ryan Justin Trinkus. Stephanie Hernandez Perez. Leah Marie Trujillo. Christopher Jacob Herring. Talia Marie Trujillo. Addison Alexander Heinsen. Danathan Sunshine Turrieta. Litsy Hipolito Rubio. Catherine Elena Ugardi. Logan Michael Hitzman. Samuel Jacob Oreck. Tristan James Hollingsworth. Phoenix Alejandro Lee Valdez. Amber Grace Hoops. Brian Eugene Valencia. Bryson Michael Hoover. Nicholas Andrew Vang. Jack Hong. Ilian Gregory Varela. Brooke Francis Hudson. Yeah. Annalicia Jalyn Vargas. Keegan Alex Hughes. Alexi Renee Vaughn. Connor Michael Jones. Andrea Guadalupe Vasquez. Adriana Lina Jimenez. Tristian David Vega. Luke Sheldon Jones. Jason Aaron Velvet. Aiden Travis Josephek. Elise Nicole Vijo. Garrett Douglas K. Meyer. Amy Wynn Vu. Rebecca Ann Keller. Damian Kenji Vu. Nathaniel K. Kerson. Jacob Ryan Wagner. 
Cody Robert Klug. Sylvia May Wagner. Jacob Derek Konarski. Casey J. Ward. Christy Ann Kuypers. Jessica Marianne Wasmer. Samuel Youngman Kwan. Connor Thomas Wells. Heather Jordan Laird. Madison Way White. Annika Sheree Lollier. Thomas Paul Charles Widera. Christopher Cole Lanning. Alexis Araya Willard. Imari Ashlyn Lawrence. <laughs> Tiffany Marie Wilson. Lanisha Nicole Laws. Dakota Anakin Winters. Stephanie Michelle Laws. Emily Ray Younger. Hadley Tug Ledesma. Jacqueline Francis Zamora. McKenna Gail Lease. Jacoby Dion Morcia Leo. Elba Anai Leon Hernandez. Trina Lee Young. Garrett Joseph Lesh. Eric Edward Day. Jeremy Allen Lewis. Alexandra Molina Walker. Kenny Curtis Ray Lewis. Nathan Anthony Taylor. Nehemiah Daniel Lockhart. Spencer Allen Yale. Alexis Nelson Lopez. Alyssa Marie Butts. Jesus Lopez. Jaden Lee Patton. Noah Jaren Lopez. Madison Sky Bowler. Shelby Marie Lopez. Deanna Nicole Edelman. Karen Judith Lopez Cardenas. Faith Harumi Stevenson. Judah Angelo Lucero Ramirez. Michael Lane Quinolti. Ayla Alessandra Lugo. Oh. Alan Lee Kunzelman. Alexa Leanne Luna Turner. Brendan Baird Anthony. Owen John Luscombe. Simon Heyman Krauser. <laughs> Madeline Solong Waddell. <laughs> Ethan Rocco Domenico. Rocco, sorry. <laughs> Josephine Catherine Griesinger. <laughs> Logan Patrick Yeager. Coulter Galong Shelby. <laughs> Jacob Taylor Millar. Graduates, graduates of Mountain Range High School, on behalf of the faculty and staff, I congratulate you on your achievements and wish you continued success. It has been a pleasure to serve as your principal. And at this time, I would like to call up Zach Weiss to end the ceremony.
Now graduates, don't throw your carnations just yet. We still got two United as a class activities to accomplish. Oh, can't you just feel the excitement? I know I can. First, we got to move our tassels. And then, at the end of the roller coaster, we are going to throw our carnations right when we jump. Ready? Everyone, hands on your tassel. Now move it from the right to the left. That signifies the conferring of your high school diploma. Look at us, all dignified. Let's give ourselves one more round of applause. Now everyone, grab those carnations and let's get ready for the best roller coaster we will ever do.